In this video, what we're going to look at are circular linked lists. The big difference between a circular linked list and a doubly linked list is that the front of the circular list will point to the end, and the end of the circular list will point to the beginning. So you can see right here that the last pointer inside of the node is pointing to null, meaning there is no node after it. If we want to make this a circular linked list, we simply point that node to the first node. And also, if we're going to have a previous node, we're going to point this first node's previous field to the last node over here. So therefore, we've made a circular linked list, meaning that the front is pointing to the end and the end is pointing to the front. So if you were to reverse the linked list from the beginning, it would go to the end and then loop back to the beginning. If you were to start at the end and go forward, you would go forward until you reach the first node and then that first node would loop back to the last node in the list. There's another way to implement this and that is using a dummy or a sentinel node. And you see that I've put this node down here. This node is not going to be part of the list in the sense that we could care less what this value is right here. Its only purpose is to be the front of the list. And then we do very similar to what we did in the last slide. Instead of the last node pointing to null, it is going to point to the sentinel node. This node right here, the front node, where it's pointing to null right now, is going to point to the sentinel node also. And then the sentinel node, its next value would be this first node here, and its previous value would be the last node in the list. And the big advantage to doing this is when you create a linked list, one of the common problems with a linked list is you constantly have to check, does the list have anything inside of it? Because if it's null, it's going to cause problems. Well, if you start with a node, this sentinel node or dummy node right here, you're not going to have the problem of having an empty list because you're always going to have at least one node inside of the list. So circular linked lists are very similar to doubly linked lists, except for the head node points to the tail node and the tail node points to the head node. And then we have this other implementation that works quite well, and that is adding an extra sentinel node to the front of the list and making it the head. This eliminates the problem of having an empty list and having to take care of that inside of our code.